A flyway bout in the women's division. Melissa Gatto coming in at minus 200 against Ariane Lipsky. Plus 200 for Lipsky over under two and a half rounds. Minus 128 for the over. Plus 128 for the under. Two Brazilians coming in here. Uh, two and three in her last five for Ariane Lipsky. And three one and one for Melissa Gatto. One loss on her record. Ariane Lipsky coming off the big win as an underdog to J.J. Aldrich, which was... Uh, I, I don't want to say like eye opening, but it was like the odds were just way off. She looked so much better on the feet than JJ did. And it, it was a not a fight that you, you really think she would have that much success. Uh, JJ would look to go for the takedowns and it looked like Ariane Lipsky kind of shirred up some takedown defense because early in her career against De La Rosa and uh, Chef Antonina Shevchenko, she got taken down and got grounded pounded out in both of those fights. So she might have take or you know cleared up the the takedown defense, and uh, in this one against Melissa Gatto, she's probably gonna have to to keep it on the feet if she wants a chance. Melissa Gatto is not terrible on the feet, but the the submissions from her and uh, the takedowns from her is probably gonna be her best path to victory, considering the history. Uh, but her last time out, she lost to Tracy Cortez by decision, and uh, Cortez just took her down, kind of grinded her out throughout the fight. And I don't see Ernie, Ariane Lipsky doing that here. So that might explain why she's a little bit bigger of a favorite. Uh, but what are you thinking as far as uh, the, the value side? Because obviously the, the line entails a uh, pretty decent win uh, percentage for Melissa Gatto, but seen any value on Lipsky? I, I want to because, I mean, on the feet, She's not bad. Uh, she was, I mean, she cashed as a big underdog in her last fight against JJ. So, um, but the knockout loss against Cachuera, okay, Priscilla is, you know, a savage on the feet. She knocks out people. But then Montana, Montana De La Rosa and Antonina Shevchenko, you're getting knocked out by. Um, you beat Mandy Bohm by decision. So, I mean, <laughs> everybody beats Mandy Bohm, though. Um, so it's kind of hard to gauge, like, what's she going to look like against Gatto, who, has a couple knockout wins in the past uh, three fights for herself, too. And on the ground, she's going to be better than Lipsky, I believe. So it's kind of hard to gauge, like, what, what's Lipsky's path to victory here? Obviously, she needs to keep it standing. But a girl like Gatto, who is getting better on the feet, throws decent volume with some def- decent accuracy. But if she gets on top on the ground, like, she's so good and dominant with her positions and looking for submissions. She does get some subs. But uh, she'll land that ground and pound, too. and uh, let's see what she landed her takedowns at 33%. So it's not really a guarantee she's going to get it down. But if she does, I just see her taking over the fight. The one thing in this fight I'm kind of looking at, though, and, and call me crazy, but the under two and a half right now, every the public is heavily invested on the over two and a half at 87% of the money on it and 86% of the bets. Um, and, you know, you got the queen of violence, Ariana Lipsky, who can strike. She could find a knockout. She could get knocked out by Gato. And if Gatto takes it to the ground, she could get subbed too. So um, I kind of like that under two and a half sneaky little uh, little play there. You know, it's going to be some plus money too. As a pick, though, I think Gatto gets it done. I think she is the better all around fighter. Um, I don't. I think she stays composed, and, and if she doesn't get the first one or two takedowns, strike a little bit and go back to it. I think she gets it to the mat at some point, and from there, I think you see her find the win. Yeah, I got a hard time getting to Lipsky in this one because. Looks like Melissa Gatto's on the sauce, man. That girl is she's yeah. juiced up. I can tell you that. Uh, and the, she, I mean, her only loss is she's coming off her only loss. I would assume she's coming in here like pretty pissed off after losing that one to Tracy Cortez. It's been over a year too, so she's been out for a little bit. Uh, she had to withdraw against Julian Robertson back in September, and she's getting. A fighter here who's coming off a, a big cash as an underdog, and she's an underdog again in Lipsky. Women's MMA is always tough because you never yeah. it seems like you never really know what you're gonna get. Um, but yeah, for the pick, I'm gonna go with Melissa Gatto. I just think she's got more ways to win this fight. And uh yeah, I don't mind the under two and a half, uh, because both fighters got the finishing ability wherever the fight goes. Like Ariane Lipsky's got a knee bar. Uh, in the UFC, the jiu-jitsu is not terrible. Um, it, it's it's pretty good offensively. I don't know how it's good how good it is defensively, but yeah, Melissa Gatto, uh, six of her eight wins are by finish. So she's she's a 
very explosive when it, it comes to that. So, yeah, for the pick, I'll go with Gatto.